Hi everyone, I'm Julie. I'm Katie. And I'm Katrina. During our last four years here at Penn State, we were all involved in Thawne. We're all engineering majors, and so we're here to show you that just because you're an engineer doesn't mean you can't get involved in other things. And here today, we're going to break it down for you so you know exactly what Thawne is. So the Penn State Dance Marathon is a year-long fundraising effort that benefits the Four Diamonds Fund at Hershey Medical Center in Hershey, PA. Uh, the fundraising year culminates in a 46-hour, no-sleeping, no-sitting dance marathon that thousands, of, excuse me, that thousands of students partake in, including 700 dancers. I myself was a dancer this past year, and it was honestly one of the most amazing experiences of my life. Uh, it was incredible. I can't believe I was on my feet for 46 hours, but. It's just for an amazing cause, and it was, it ended up being one of the easiest things I've ever done, just because I knew that I was making a difference. The Four Diamonds Fund gets its name from a story written by a cancer patient named Christopher Millard. He had written a story about what he believed were the qualities you need to overcome a battle with cancer. Those were courage, wisdom, honesty, strength, and they later came to be known as the Four Diamonds. Thon not only provides financial support for the families, but it also provides emotional support as well. We pair them up, we pair different organizations up with families in order to make sure there's a connection going on. So these families come in Thon weekend and they know someone, they can see a familiar face and really enjoy and get to know these kids as um, they're going through. We as students, we love to get to play with these kids and have fun, play with squirt guns, chase them around. Um, and we really do look up to them because their stories are so inspirational to us even as college kids. What's really great about Thawne is that anyone can get involved. Um, starting from your first year, you can join a committee. And what's great about that is that you gain leadership experience from the start, but you also learn how to just help people and how to really contribute to a team. So there are a lot of positions that you can get involved in with Thon. Whether you're dancing like Katie was, just raising money for an organization, which all the organizations on campus pretty much participate, or even being part of how it works. So you can be an overall chairperson, which is the top tier of the system, and then a captain falls right below them. That's what I was. And then there's committee members as well. Okay, so it may seem kind of crazy that as engineers, we would choose to give up an entire weekend on top of many other hours uh, throughout the year in order to participate in such an event. But really what it comes down to is the fact that while we're doing all this, we're really improving upon our time management skills and really working on our team building skills and leadership skills at the same time. So really, it's kind of an all around benefit, a win-win situation. Even now, a month after THON has ended, we've already started to work on next year's THON. So it really truly is a year-long effort by the students to make this happen. Um, this year, I was a captain for THON, and I got to be a part of the behind-the-scenes efforts to get make sure the weekend ran smoothly. What THON means to me is coming together as an entire Penn State community to make a difference for the kids for no other reason than them, and providing the families with you know not only financial support, but the emotional support of just giving them hope and strength in their situation. This whole thought experience has helped me be able to be a part of something that's bigger than even just Penn State itself. Um, we're truly making a difference in the lives of these families and children every day that we work towards our goal. To me, THON means making a difference. It means knowing that one day we will find a way to beat pediatric cancer. And on that day, we'll dance for joy, but until then, we dance for a cure.